What ruined religion for you? So many things, but the final straw for me was my church asking a homeless man to leave and not come back. He would sit and listen to the sermons, never bothered anyone, and always sat in the very back. I confronted my youth group leader, and she defended the preacher. This 13-year-old kid got exposed for being gay and was bullied into suicide by his family for it. I remember during summers they would send him to a special camp to cure his gayness. I was really good friends with his little sister, and she would always say how embarrassing it was to have a gay brother and would hope he would become straight. He ended up hanging himself at 13 or 14. It happened in middle school, and I can't pretend like I was friends with him, but his story always stuck with me. When I was sexually assaulted by another boy and I spoke to my pastor because I was afraid to tell my family. He asked me what I did to make the other kid have impure thoughts and tried to make it out to be my fault. That was the exact moment I lost what little faith I had to begin with. Well being from Northern Ireland I have more than the average number of reasons. I guess it's a toss up between learning that the clergy on both sides had been diddling kids including selling access to them to rich pedophiles, learning that the Catholic Church ran women's homes where they kidnapped babies, sold the ones that didn't die and used their mothers as forced labor, or the classic, that we had a civil war that was largely delineated on religious lines so people spent 40 years telling their children that the other half were basically scary aliens that meant us harm. Oh yeah, and I liked dinosaurs and the church people kept telling me they weren't real so fuck that. Seeing a whole congregation of people perform an exorcism on a five-year-old boy. I was a teen youth leader at a Southern Baptist church I had been involved with for several years. During Sunday morning service one day, one of the deacons came from the children's church building next door and interrupted the preacher to whisper something in his ear. They both left immediately, and when they returned, were dragging a four- or five-year-old boy down the aisle who was screaming like a banshee. They ended up taking him in front of the church, holding him down, and reciting all sorts of bullshit about demonic possession, asking the churchgoers to come up to him and help banish the demon from the child. Kinda ruined God for me. How agonizingly long and tedious Mass was as a Roman Catholic kid. Stand up sing. Sit down. Then kneel. Then stand again. Sing again. Sit down. Stand up. Kneel and pray. Then 30 minutes of droning from the robed guy at the front. Then stand up and sing. Sit down. Stand up. WTF please make this end. When I was 12 my father pulled me aside and said son, you are old enough to decide about religion. I wanted to give you a chance to experience religion. If you want to keep going to church, you can, but it's also okay if you don't want to go anymore. I said okay, I don't want to go anymore. My father said okay, me too. And that was that. Really toxic people at my church growing up. Seeing people only go to church to make connections and gossip rather than actually worship and do good for others. Seeing how people use religion as an excuse to be shitty people around the world. So many people just bend their interpretation of a religion to fit whatever they want. Religious leaders ruined religion for me. When I was six years old, the pastor gave a letter to my aunt to give to my mom saying that we were not donating enough money to the church. So we stopped going and I have never been to church since. Being kicked out of Christian school prior to the third grade because my mom bought the wrong edition of the Bible. People using it to justify their hate. Going to a mega church. They received over 1 mil in donations every weekend and spent it on elaborate props and videos rather than helping the community in any meaningful way. There was never an answer. I wanted to believe desperately. I wanted to and I begged God to allow me to be doubtless. I tried and tried and tried to make it work. To make it fit. I asked questions. I wondered. I pondered. I just got to a point where there were no more answers. No one had an answer that made sense. Nothing that the next person couldn't alter or contradict. Nothing that was set or fixed. 
It was all up in the air, and I just needed more faith. I tried. I really did. But my mind just won't allow it anymore. The non-answers to all my questions as a kid. You just have to have faith is a dumb way to respond to an inquisitive mind. The fact that if you're not in my religion, you're kind of fucked in the afterlife. I didn't choose my religion, so what makes me so special? I worked at a restaurant near a church on Sundays. Rudest bunch of people ever. Edit, thank you for the likes and awards. My mother telling me Santa wasn't real by saying do you really believe that there is a magic man that files to all the houses worldwide in one night on a sleigh? I had always been skeptical anyways, but that solidified it. I then wondered at what age she would tell me God isn't real. Being told I was going to rot in hell every time I made a simple mistake. The intolerance between different religions, it's harmful to society. Catholic high school is very popular in the area that I am from. No one wants to send their kids to the public schools around here. Every single one of my friends who I am still in touch with that went to school with me are now the biggest non-believers I know. The hypocrisy and irony. Some religious people are the most corrupt individual there is. Its followers. It quickly became evident that many people who call themselves religious only do so to feel morally superior to others around them and then use that superiority to try to control everything they can. Being told that being sexually abused as a child was a good thing is God needed to teach me a lesson on hubris and ego. I should accept it as a lesson and be better so I wouldn't fall into the clutches of the devil. I was seven. Apparently, I was asking for it. Sermons alternated between asking for money, telling us LGBT people were bad, or telling us we were all worthless sinners without God. Left church every Sunday feeling like shit. One week, I just decided I'm not going back. I don't miss it. The fact that there are multiple, but I was taught that only one is correct. The idea that you're created by an omniscient God, and they give you free will, but with chastise you for using that exact free will is kinda bullshit. I was raised Catholic, and I always felt uneasy about the environment. Then I learned I had a great aunt living in a Magdalene laundry, then the priest who buried my father attacked me two weeks later, he came off the worst of that encounter, and I immediately left that so-called church. What I have learned since about it would curl your liver. I'm a volunteer now, with the Survivor Network. 1. Being told as a child that I couldn't become a priest because I was a girl. Even as a 10-year-old I realized how unfair that was and that it's not because I'm a girl that I'm less than. 2. All the sexual assault cases being put under the rug and priests being protected by the Vatican.